Robert, what's been happening? Catch me up on everything. I've kind of been doing this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a part of your life for, what, eight years now? Six years? I, coming up to five. Five years. I, I was saying three earlier. For like, yeah. I, kind of, I don't know where the two of the years went. Man, uh, every, every time you, you guys get together, is it, is it like a family reunion? I mean, do you see each other a lot off screen and, and all? I mean, talking about Taylor and the crew and... Yeah, no, I see a bunch of people a lot. Um, there's like a kind of people from the first movie, like the cast, the original cast from the first one. Mm -hmm. I see them all the time. I mean, there's like some of my closest friends in LA. I mean, which is really nice. I mean, it doesn't normally happen. And I don't make the same kind of relationships with uh, people on, on movies now because it was such a different experience. I mean, we, we had like 20 young people working together and all at the same level pretty much in their careers. I mean, it was. It was amazing to kind of go through the same experience with all of them. You, you have to be proud of, uh, of some of the like Anna Kendrick. I mean, what, what a talent she is, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, and, and for her to keep, you know, coming back and, and, and you know, it's, th this is such a delight for the fans to, yeah. to see everybody like this, too. Uh. It's crazy. That's crazy about Anna because Anna has the tiniest little parts of these movies, and she's been nominated for an Oscar. Like, but she is always great. I mean, on the first one, she was great. I mean, you could always see that. You know, there's a whole bunch of people who's, who are going to do great things uh, throughout their careers. I think. You know, your your character. We could talk about the arc. We could talk about the angst in this movie, but it really is. A, a wonderful statement about love and, 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 and sticking with someone. I mean, we can't get into the plot because I don't want to ruin it for you. Of course, if people have read the book, they know. <laughs> but you, you do this so well. And, and I think this movie really shows um, how Edward works inside. I think more so than the others, yeah. It's mm -hmm. kind of... Because also, you, it's the first time he's, he's been sort of relaxed for, uh, throughout the entire series. For, for a bit, anyway. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it's always when people talk about, oh, Edward's so old fashioned and blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's not. I mean, he just has kind of, he just knows what he wants. I mean, and, and that's all there is to it. I mean, it's kind of, but I think it is a nice thing, especially with showing young people and they kind of, I mean, it is just sticking together. I mean, it's, it's hard. It's not about some kind of, it's not. It's, it's not really fake. This yeah. one. I mean, it's. It's sort of. A, it's not a fairy tale romance. I mean, it's. Well, well, there's some growing up that. Yeah. All the characters have have done. They're coming to terms with certain things. It's a. It's a wonderful statement about that too. Is is leaving the uh, childhood behind you and, uh, yeah. and accepting these responsibilities too. Definitely. And and having to compromise and things. I mean. Edward has a and has to basically become a completely different person. I mean, there's a there's a moment I guess when. Bella gets pregnant, he eventually just has to sort of surrender his ego completely and kind of just rebuild himself. <laughs> I mean, because like, he true. has no choice. Yeah, yeah, you have no control at a certain point at all. And for a character who's obsessed with controlling every, everything, he has to kind of reinvent himself. We, we're, we're done. I, you know, I want to thank you for uh, singing Happy Birthday to me uh, a, a year ago. Remember, <laughs> outside the cafe, you guys were great. Thank you for doing that.